see this dog trotting around during a firefight. And you nudge the guy next to you and like, look at this guy. What you doing, buddy? You good boy? Huh? Yeah. You good boy. Growing up, I always wanted a dog, and I campaigned for one. Soccer playing dog. The first step of getting him out was getting him on the helicopter. It had to be hush hush. Fred went on a helicopter ride before he ever went on a car ride. He flew from Afghanistan to Pakistan to Bahrain to Germany to JFK Airport, and my dad and my sister were waiting for him. He beat me home by four months. When I finally made it home, it was the start of something really special. We had the whole world ahead of us. After years of telling me I can't get a dog. Hang on, hang on, careful, careful. <laughs> my dad became Fred's biggest fan. One of the first games we ever played with Fred was soccer. The tradition of playing keep away from Fred that stood the test of time because he still does it. We have a great yard here in Maine. Fred and I, we were happy, but we needed more. Nora and Ruby, her dog, and now our dog, was the missing parts of our life. Fred's bond with Nora is incredible. Good boy. Good boy. We're such a little unit, a little pack. Fred is from the desert, but he loves snow. He's always been a traveler. Yeah, bud. Freddy, Freddy. What do you think? You love it. The tree's growing in here. Whoa, where are we, sleepy boy? Yeah. I thought I have this story, and it's this duty for me to share it. Let's write a book. With our book, and with me and Fred being in-demand speakers, we drive everywhere. It's all astonishing because of where his life started. He's 14 years old, and he's been to 49 of our 50 states since coming together over 13 years ago. Look what you do, Fred. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. We have done things that will always astonish me. Ha, ha, ha.